Welcome to California and welcome to the launch of the new Beetle Cabriolet. It's actually been raining all day, but the sun has finally broken through the clouds, so I'm going to don my Ray-Bans and take the car for a spin. You're probably wondering why I'm driving this car with the roof up. Well, there's two reasons. The first is that I want to explain to you that the actual hood is so well insulated that it's no noisier in here than in the coupe model. The second reason is because I want to show you that you can lower the roof at speeds of up to 30 miles an hour in just nine seconds. So here we go, I just press this button. There we go. Do you know what? It's not actually that sunny and I fear I may look like a bit of a dick in the shade, so I'm gonna take them off. I'm also gonna put the windows up because I've forgotten to fit the wind deflector and I want you to be able to hear what I'm saying. Actually, with the wind deflector fitted, you hardly get any buffeting in this car with the roof down at all. Now, the Beetle Cabriolet, what does it feel like to drive? Well, this is the two litre turbo model. It's got 197 brake horsepower, could do not 62 miles an hour in just 7.5 seconds. So it's almost as fast as a Golf GTI. Other engines you can get, are a 1.2 litre turbo petrol, 1.4 litre turbo petrol, and a 1.6 and 2 litre diesels. Now, I know I'm driving this car along a straight road at the moment, but I have been up into the hills and tried on some twisty roads, and I can tell you that it does handle very well. It's not quite as agile or sharp as a Mini, but it's still pretty sporty. And one of the problems with cutting off a car's roof is that the body can go all wobbly, but VW have fitted some extra bracing, and it does feel pretty much as stiff as the coupe version. When you go over a bump, it doesn't shimmy or shake, and generally it's pretty comfortable. In fact, if you're after a retro cool drop top and you don't want your bones shaken to pieces, this is gonna be a much better bet than the bouncy hard riding Mini. Another way, the Beetle betters the Mini Convertible is that you can actually give your friends a lift. Now look, I am a man and I have legs, yet I can still fit in the back of the Beetle Convertible without suffering any kind of lower limb pain. Also, there's room for me to actually carry some things. If you come over here, you'll see that while not massive, the boot is a reasonable size because, look, I've even managed to fit some luggage in it. Go and take a look. Let's talk about prices. The entry-level version of this car costs from £18,000 and this turbo 2 litre is actually 25 grand. And like for like, it's roughly about £2,000 more than the Mini Convertible. But it's probably going to be worth it because it's an easier car to live with every day. And if you want one, you can order one now and Volkswagen will deliver it in time for spring when the sun comes out back in Britain. Mm -hmm.